uh, Global Automakers CEO John Bazella. He supports the plan right now and the various plans, differences though there might be among them, because uh, it would be better than what we have. I think that's the gist of where you're coming from, right, John? Yes, I think that's right, Neil, and it's uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You know, you know, it is really important uh, that we get tax reform done. It's uh, it's 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 uh, important to grow the economy, and that's what this is really about. So the the action today in the House is uh, a critical step in that direction, and the work that's being done in the Senate Finance Committee is obviously important as well. I will say, however, though, that you know there are a few concerns that we do have. You know, with some of the provisions that are designed to deal with corporate behavior of companies that are kind of taking things offshore into low tax havens, we have to make sure that that net isn't cast too broadly and that it doesn't capture the job creators and the U.S. tax base extenders, companies like the international car companies who are operating here in the United States, building plants here in the United States and employing over a million Americans. What do you think of what uh, Wisconsin Senator Republican Ron Johnson was saying about this, that he has no doubt that this will benefit big biz, not, biz guys. He's, he's concerned about the small, the medium-sized biz guys. And as a result, unless that's rectified, uh, he's a no. Yeah, so, you know, look, we're, our focus is on tax reform, comprehensive tax reform that does a number of things. It's got to grow the economy. It's, it's got it's to gotta help companies that create jobs, uh, create jobs here in America. It should, you think they'll it should do that, John? I always fairly. wonder, but uh, yeah. I wonder, what, what if they just plow the money back? They're free to do whatever they want with their money, of course. But, but if they just plow it back into buying stock, hiking dividends, um, a lot of people will say, gosh, so you, you told us you were going to expand your plans, hire more folks. You're not doing that. Yeah, well, let me tell you what's happening here. Look, look at the U.S. auto industry. You know, the last time, if you compare when we did tax reform the last time in 1986 and today, there are twice as many car companies today building cars and trucks in America and employing Americans than there were then. We, this is good news. We want to encourage that. What you're seeing, certainly with international car companies who are building cars and trucks here in the United States, is that they are investing, they are expanding the tax base, and they're employing more Americans. We're building a lot more cars and trucks today than we were then, and more companies are doing it. This is great news. All right. Thank you very, very much, uh, John.